Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Brett, and my hands is the creepy case files of Margot Malou, Volume 3 of The Tangled Web. This is published by First Second and by Drew Weing, who is the writer and artist. Uh, this is a really, really cute uh, graphic novel, uh, geared towards kids. I loved it as, as an adult. It's really fun, it's really funny, uh, the art style is great, the story's fantastic. Uh, I gotta go read the first two volumes. Like that's how much I really enjoyed this. Uh, so the star story is about this uh, detective named Margot, who's a kid and helps monsters. Monsters are real. Kids can see them, uh, and her whole thing is to make sure like monsters aren't uh, hurt and and disturbed by humans. And uh, she has a partner now named Charles, uh, who clearly is kind of new to this. And the story is that uh, people are finding monsters, that, that kids are being sent out to purposely attempt to find monsters in their locations by this unknown person online named the Eldritch Truth. Um, now the question, now the thing is the monsters think it's all Margot that is causing this and that uh, Charles is the one blabbing. That Margot brought in Charles, Charles is the one blabbing. The monsters now are, are kind of all... Uh, uh, you know, watching their back and, and a little afraid of what's going to happen next. Uh, we know that's not true. That's not what's going on. It's, it's pretty obvious. Uh, so now the question is, is, is who is this mysterious person online? Well, we have no idea. This is this volume just sets that up. I think that was maybe my disappointment in the volume is that uh, this is this key plot line according to like the, the blurb on the back and all the setup, but it really is just the setup of it. Like it does not tell the whole story. I've got my guesses as to uh, as to who it is and, and what's going on, but just guesses so far. Um, but the the big plot is here is you know uh, is Margot having to uh, learn about working with her partner and her partner uh, of Charles having to figure out how to work with Margot. Um, and in the end, you know, it's it's them trying to save some monsters. They have to come together to, to save some monsters who are threatened from demolition. It's really really cute. It's it's fun. It's um, you know I kind of get like this. You know, it's it's got that twist of like a Scooby Doo uh, thing about it, except younger kids. Um, it's it's fun, like it's it's really 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 fun. I think the art's great, the story's solid. Um, you know, it's not too scary, and in the end, the plot is really about helping people, helping monsters. Uh, so for younger readers, I think there's there's a really solid lesson to it. Um, to me, this is probably like eight ish, maybe seven, eight, somewhere around there. Uh, would be the proper age is my guess like when kid kids like really sit down and, and read and follow stuff like that like that's probably about six seven eight somewhere around there um i know they can do it younger but it feels about the right age ish uh you know as I said, it's not scary the art is good it's about younger kids um we get some cool cool background like this uh, and the good is like you don't need to read you haven't you don't need to know anything about the first two volumes like it really does a solid explanation as to what's going on and kind of catches up readers. So um, it's 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 good, it's like really, really good. It's fun, it's funny. Um, I think the art is solid, the, the mystery is good. Um, and really the negative is you're gonna wanna get the fourth volume. Like, you know, it sets up a really solid mystery that will get you wanting to, to read more. Um, the back is really cool too, because there's also like, stuff about all the creatures within that I think kids will love, um, you know, kind of expanding the world and making it more interesting and, and really kind of, you know, really fleshing it out. I think it's really great. Overall, like, I love this graphic novel. I think it's it's so good, so entertaining, so solid. Um, I'm in love with it. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Go get it. Highly recommend it. Out now in shops, you can go get it. Uh, we got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code to telecom shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links as well underneath. There'll be affiliate links, so we get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site, so thank you. And speaking of support, I want to thank for a second for us up with the review copy, and of course, thank you all for watching. If you're into comics, if you're into graphic novels, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. 
you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.